Hi guys. Well, I've had a quiet day. I've rested my ankles mostly. Uh, felt like a suck of crap earlier. But I think I can put it down to white bread and too much of it. I've got a feeling the gluten in it is uh, too much for my poor tummy so I think I'm going to have to concede defeat and uh, stick to whole meal. Anyway, when I was feeling better, because I had what I call um, one of my sort of uh, spells where I just, uh, well I had to dash to the loo for a, a dump because I had the squits, then I had the tummock, tummock? What the fuck's a tummock? And then I had the um, tummy pains again. I felt like my guts were on fire and got the shivers a little. Not a great deal, but a little. Uh, a little bit nauseous, but again, wasn't vomiting or anything. Never have done. And uh, took a glass of water, had an antacid. Because I could feel a little bit of heartburn there from dinner, because I hadn't long eaten dinner. And uh, about an hour and a half, back to normal, as I have now. So I just, oops, I decided to uh, recase my Windows 7 PC. And I've got all most of the connections made. I'm not sure if I have to connect these for the fan, or if I can just rely on this one. I've got three things plugged together there. <laughs> one is just an adapter for... Molex to SATA for the uh, um, DVD drive because I only had the one cable and it would only go down to the hard drive which I think is in backwards but that's the only way I can get the damn thing to fit so I can get the uh, side covers on uh, front fans connected there to a Molex there is another cable connected to the board fan connector uh, but I think aside from the USB 3 connector, which this motherboard doesn't have compatibility for, I'm not sure I've got a motherboard that does, uh, everything's connected and I can uh, power it on whenever I'm ready. Although I did take those three feet off and then I've realised I've got no ventilation under the bottom here for the power supply. So if I do set this up somewhere, I'm going to have to sit this on like a couple of I don't know, little blocks or something. Just so there's enough gap there for airflow. Otherwise I'm going to overheat the power supply. And I don't particularly want to kill a 550 watt power supply. Um, I didn't think of that when I took the feet off, but I only had three feet anyway, so it wasn't sitting level. Well, I suppose I could. can't remember if I've actually thrown them now, but if I've still got them, I could just pop the rear two on so it sat like that. That gives some airflow at least. But I think if I could find something, just like a little narrow wooden block or something, just to stick in there, that'll do for now. No, one at the front and one probably somewhere here or even right at the back just so it would sit level but apart from that I haven't <coughs> excuse me haven't done a lot today um I did go to uh cats from cats custom trikes yesterday and got my uniform which the cat is currently sitting on just like her cat had uh, slept on it there's something about cats and my clothes. Isn't there, boy? Eh? You like sleeping on my clothes. He does it. If I leave a coat somewhere, he'll sleep on that as well. No idea why. I don't know if it's because it's got my scent on it or... I don't know. Well, they haven't got my scent on it because I haven't uh, worn them yet. Um, but on the way back from cats yesterday... Cat came with me because I forgot to take the bloody bike seat with me to put on her bike. Took everything else I needed apart from the bike seat. <laughs> uh, but, uh, 
yeah. We got a couple of miles from hers and I got a puncture. So we had to walk. Well, Kat didn't. She could have ridden if she really, really wanted to, but she didn't. <laughs> she said she didn't feel right riding alongside me while I had to walk all the way. So we both walked six, seven miles all the way back to mine. Took us three hours or so. So we had to stop a few times. Now my ankles are, well actually they're not as bad now, but when I first got up they were rather sore. I did say to her I'd feel it today. <laughs> That's got to be the furthest I've walked in a long time. <sighs> um, but I did try to fix the puncture today, I put a new tube in. Checked the tyre first for anything sharp in it, couldn't feel anything. So I put the tube in, pumped it up. I went downstairs a few hours later to uh, put the bike in the shed and it was flat as a pancake again. So there's an issue there somewhere that's puncturing my uh, tubes. So I think instead of do the um, quick you know, finger test where you run your fingers around the inside of the tar to feel for anything sharp, I'm going to have to take the tar off and give it a good thorough check and the wheel rib. There could be something wrong with the wheel rim. If I can actually pump up the tubes and find out where the hole is, why is this just gone out of focus? No. Thank you. Just got this habit of doing whatever it likes. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I'm going to have to. I might do that tomorrow because I'm not going to Mum's tomorrow. Hopefully, um, Sunday. No recycling centre trip this weekend because I'm skint till Thursday. So, joy! <laughs> I really could do a selling that kid's bike. But, uh, never mind. <sighs> oh, I'm feeling so tired. <sighs> well, I haven't slept very well the past couple of nights anyway. Um, I had wanted to put at least the t-shirt on and show myself wearing it, but I'm not going to disturb the cat. I haven't got the heart to disturb my cat. Can you tell who's uh, the boss in this flat? He is. <laughs> yes, you. Love you. <laughs> uh. Let's see, can we see him? I think you can see him over there. Can't see bugger all on the uh, screen. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, according to a Facebook post I saw earlier, there was some um, scallywags in town. Young scallywags. Don't know how young. But uh, someone on my friends list put up that she'd uh, just driven through town and uh, a large group of youths just stepped out in front of a car. Uh, and then I believe she said she went round again. No, it was someone else had seen them and seen two other cars that had pulled over and stopped to confront them and they were giving them... The kids were giving these people that stopped a load of verbal. So yeah, lovely sort of people, aren't they? I don't see why some youths have got to do that. I never, you know, went around town with a group of, you know, friends from school or whatever, you know, just randomly giving people verbal for the sheer hell of it. I know I wasn't a saint, but that was one thing I never did. I don't think any of us are a saint when we're kids. <laughs> we're always getting up to mischief, but uh, there was several things I never did. You know, I never prank called the emergency services either. Never prank called anyone, actually. But uh, most of the time I was at home anyway, so... Oh, here we go. Hmm. 
Right. I think tomorrow night's video I'm going to um, make of me taking the guts out of this one and putting in the now empty case in the kitchen. The little silver one, silver and black one, Asus case, that's it, that uh, my Windows 7 was in before I now put it in its new case. Uh, and then that leave this big one free for me to uh, build something else into. I'm not sure what yet. Probably a Windows 7 PC because I haven't got anything higher than Windows 7. <laughs> I haven't. Windows 7 is the highest operating system I've got. Did have Windows Vista. I oh, know that's lower, isn't it? That was before 7. But I don't have 8 or 8.1 or anything like that. I don't think I'd want them anyway. I don't like it. <sighs> well, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. Might put GTA on for a little while and blow some shit up because that seems to be all I did. Actually, last night I managed to get a five-star wanted level. I was holding the cops off for quite a while, probably due to the hiding place I took. Because <laughs> um, the hiding place I got Trevor into was on a roof behind this sort of wall thing so no foot police could actually get to him. It was only the helicopters. So it was quite easy to uh, stay alive for quite a while. Until, um... A police officer managed to abseil down from a helicopter right behind me without me noticing and he took me out. <laughs> but yeah, I did manage to get a five star wanted level. I do like that, it just challenges myself and my own skill to see how long I can survive before the inevitable is going to happen. Because once you've got, in my experience, once you've got well, you can get rid of a four-star wanted level, but it ain't easy. But uh, I've never managed a five-star wanted level, not to get rid of it. I've actually never managed to get a five-star wanted level. That was the first time. I must have the camera on. Jesus, your nose is cold and that tickled my arm. We could probably very easily nod off like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. My drinks alone. Oh. Do not want your fluff in my drink. I don't mind about the glass of water, just don't get it in the coke. Right. I'm just running things around in my head to make sure there isn't anything I've missed. That I wanted to mention in this vlog. Nothing that I can think of at the minute. Not unless you want me to sort of describe how it was when I went to the loo earlier, you know, I could do that, but I don't think anyone would want to know that. I don't know what it is. He's always lovey like this at night, never during the day. Never. That's just something about. <laughs> Can you get comfortable? <laughs> That's just <laughs> something about night time with him. During the day, he's asleep. Oh, the battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna have to end this then. So, uh, thanks for watching. I've got nothing else to talk about anyway, so. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks in advance for those to those who do. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.